There are two really important surgeons in the world. Shimon is a surgeon in Australia and Bole in Ontario. And between them, these two have about the greatest experience in resurfacing hip replacement. And on their websites and at manufacturer's meetings, they say this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. All the claims I showed on the earlier slide. When they have to submit their results to an actual peer-reviewed editorial board or present their results in front of surgeons like me, they're much more cautious and much more restrained. And they openly state, this is from just six months ago, a year ago, the results are similar to and the complication rates comparable with those of conventional hip replacements. And in fact, we only really have published results of two to five years. So we're still very early in the, in the idea of hip resurfacing as the final solution. And more importantly and importantly for me, the issue of metal ion exposure is serious. Even the biggest promoters, even the biggest salesmen of this operation, the guys with the biggest um, experience are saying, yeah, and don't do it in women who might have a baby because the metal ions might be bad for the fetus. Exposure to the fetus for nine months of metal ions may be dangerous. And people like me would say, well, what about the woman? She's going to have this thing in for 40 or 50 years. Why aren't you worried about that? So they, that is one big problem that hasn't been answered. At best, I would say today, resurfacing hip replacements are controversial. They may turn out to be fine, but we just need more time.